I believe that I am one of those very fortunate people who has found something that truly interests them and brings them great satisfaction. Every weekend throughout the summer, and sometimes in the winter, I am exploring caves across Ontario. One of my latest focuses is a tunnel that we call the Tooth Tube. This weekend we made significant progress, having refined our digging technique and using more efficient tools. We dug and sweated in the narrow confines of a dripping rocky tube. This done in pretty much total darkness. I favor the spike and the garden claw and Jeff prefers his short shovel. So down the tooth tube, um, this is it, somewhere beneath Ontario. Um, secret cave that we've been working on for three weekends now. So this is a, a progression of the um, of the tooth tube. Uh, we're still in it. This is uh, Jeff Collins and myself. We made a little further progress. Um, we can see that it just keeps on going well beyond where we were uh, we're at last week. Just using a shovel. Hey Jeff. Hey. What do you see up ahead there, Jeff? It's hard for me to... Uh, passage keeps going. It's mostly filled with mud, but there does seem to open up a bit up ahead. So Excellent. Thank you. So I think I'm going to weasel forward a bit, get past Jeff, and just see if I can do some video of what lays ahead. It's definitely a beautiful round tube, and we're, uh, we're well into it now. So Jeff, can you give us a little story there about what you're seeing up ahead? Uh, goes in about there 10 feet, turns left, look, uh, looks like the passage opens up a bit. Nice. Some nice little formations. Good. Hey, what's your uh, what's your website there, Jeff? OntarioCaves.com. Good. So guys, you can get many perspectives on what we're doing. You can look at Jeff's site or mine, which is uh, www.rockwatching.wordpress.com. We're both... Uh, we're avid blogger Weber people, so we like to record what we're doing here. So here's how here's how we're leaving the tooth tube today. We've been digging for a couple of hours. It's it's very tiring. Um, there's this constant drip drip dripping inside the uh, inside the tunnels here. Um, so we're kind of squelching around in mud. Um, we've dug out a good chunk, pretty well most of what you can see here today. Uh, it appears that the tunnel continues up ahead. It drops to the right and uh, kind of lighting it up with various types of flashlights and helmet lights and whatever else. So I'm going to move forward and just give you a view down the tunnel to the right. Come to a point where by dipped sharply it drops down to a lower level. A uh, fair bit more digging to do down there. It's hard to show you. Uh, but it appears... Oh boy, it's not easy to do. Um, it definitely drops. Uh, let me get my hand down there. You can see down there, more tunnel, more digging required. Uh, uh, it's taking water from a, a small tunnel behind me as well as a tunnel that I crawled down and dug out with Jeff here. Um, so I guess next weekend uh, we'll be approaching this tunnel. Uh, definitely gets bigger. Should be no problem. We'll be going down to lower level. Uh, there's a little bit of um, glowstone up on the wall, hard to see. Um, obviously this tunnel has been worn by by rushing water. Look at the sort of sharp formation along the roof. Uh, it's almost like a bit of a blade. Really, really interesting. So this is uh, inside the tooth tube. Uh, looking back out, um, we've kind of reached the, uh, the end of our energy for today's digging. We're going to probably head off and look for a spring that we've heard about in this area. Um, but we are optimistic of this, uh, of where we've reached and the possibilities of, of the tunnel continuing onwards. So that's about it for today. Stay tuned. So if you're interested in caving, uh, 
geology or geography, check out my book, Caving in Ontario, Exploring Buried Karst, by Michael Gordon. Uh, you can find it on uh, the site Lulu, or you could also um, just go onto my blog site, and um, there's a link there directly to the Lulu site.